Champion Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most exciting fighting sport in the world. This is the Hero Champions Challenge. ขอต้อนรับคุณผู้ชมทุกท่านเข้าสู่รายการสุดยอดของการต่อสู้ระดับโลก The Hero Champions Challenge. และขอเชิญพบกับพิธีกรเบียร์สุวรรณิตสวัสดีครับ Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the most exciting fight sports in the world. Live broadcasting from Max Muay Thai Stadium in Pattaya. I'm your host, Pierre Max Muay Thai, and welcome everyone to the Hero Champions Challenge. เอาละครับกลับสวัสดีพี่น้องแฟนมวยทั่วประเทศและพี่น้องแฟนมวยที่อยู่ทั่วทุกมุมโลกที่กำลังรับชมทางระบบออนไลน์สตรีมมิ่งครับขอต้อนรับทุกท่านนะครับเข้าสู่สุดยอดกีฬาการต่อสู้ระดับโลกถ่ายทอดสดจาก Max ซ์บอยไทยสเตเดียมที่พัทยาแห่งนี้ครับออกอากาศทางไทยรัฐทีวีช่อง32เป็นประจำทุกวันเสาร์และวันอาทิตย์บ่าย4ถึง6โมงเย็นผมรับหน้าที่เป็นพิธีกรประจำรายการเบียร์แม็กซ์มวยไทยและขอต้อนรับทุกท่านเข้าสู่รายการเดอะฮีโร่แชมเปี้ยนส์ชาเลนเอาละครับวันนี้ครับคุณผู้ชมครับรายการเดอะฮีโร่แชมเปี้ยนส์ชาเลนในวันเสาร์จะเป็นศึกมวยไทย3ยกและในคู่ที่5นะครับจะมีการชกประชาชนเข็มขัดแชมป์ครับวันนี้แชมเปี้ยนของเรานะครับนักชกจากจังหวัดร้อยเอ็ดจะเจอผู้ท้าชิงครับจากจังหวัดอุบลราชธานีจะมาขอท้าชิงในพิกัดน้ำหนัก53กิโลกรามวันนี้เดือดแน่นอนครับเอาเราไปชมรายชื่อนักชกในรายการวันนี้กันก่อนเลยครับ Alright ladies and gentlemen let's check our fighters record in today program in the first 552 k g weight division p e t s i l a t a p r a y a y i m versus a k a i r i n s o s a k j a r e n And in the second fight, 47 kilogram, Option w a a r a n y a versus Stang Dan k i e t Jom b u n g And in the third fight, 54 kilogram, Jack s a y a w a a r a n y a versus Jom p a d e t Nu Pran b u r i And in the fourth fight, our co main event, 65 kilogram, Sai Chon s i n g b a n d o n versus Lu r a k p u i f o r Man. And our main event of 53 kilogram champions challenge our challengers Sing Si c h e p i n versus our champion p a n t o n g o p i t i s a k เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับตอนนี้นักชกของเราก็พร้อมทางด้านหลังเราไปพบกับพวกเขากันเลย Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out our fighters in today's program. In the first fight, introducing a Thai warrior, Pat Sila t a p r a y a y i m เอาละครับคู่แรกของวันนี้ครับในมุมน้ำเงินนักชกจากจังหวัดกระบี่เพชรศิลาท็อปพระยอยิมและคู่ต่อสู้ของเขานักชกจากจังหวัดบุรีรัมย์ในบุมแดงครับเอกไพรินสอสักเจริญวันนี้คู่แรกครับ52กิโลกรัมเพชรศิลาเจอกับเอกไพรินและในคู่ที่2ครับ47กิโลกรัมนักชกจากจังหวัดสะแก้วออปชั่นวออรัญยาในคู่ที่2ครับนักชกสะแก้วครับออปชั่นวอร์รัญญาและคู่ต่อสู้ของเขาในมุมแดงจากจังหวะร้อยเอ็ดสตางแดงเกียรติจอมบึงในคู่ที่2นะครับออปชั่นเจอกับสตางแดงและในคู่ที่3ครับ5้าสิกิโลกรัมในมุมน้ําเงินจากจังหวัดชะเชิงเซาแจ็คสยามวอร์รัญญาในคู่ที่3วันนี้ครับชกที่5้าสิกิโลกรัมนักชกชะเชิงเซาครับแจ็คสยามและคุณสุขเขาก็ในมุมแดงนักโชคจากจังหวัดประจวบคีรีขันจอมพเดชนุปราณบุรีวันนี้คู่ที่3ครับ54กิโลกรัมแจ็คสยามเจอกับจอมพเดชและคู่รองเวทของรายการครับ65กิโลกรัมในมุมน้ำเงินนักโชคจากจังหวัดสุขโขทยัยสายชนสิงบ้านดอนวันนี้คู่รองเวทครับสายชนสิงบ้านดอนนักโชคจากจังหวัดสุขโขทยัยเจอกับคู่ต่อสู้เขาในมุมแดงครับนักโชคจากจังหวัดนครสวรรค์ลูกรักปุ๋ยโฟมนวันนี้คู่รองคู่เอกนะครับสายชนเจอกับรูกลักปุ๋ยโฟมนแล้วมาถึงคู่เอกของรายการก็เป็นคู่กระชอกเข็มขัดแชมป์ครับวันนี้เจ้าของเข็มขัดแชมป์นะครับจะถูกกระชากโดยผู้ท้าชิงจากจังหวัดอุบลราชธานีในมุมน้ําเงินครับสิงสิทธิเจ๊ปริมนี่นะครับชมหน้าผู้ท้าชิงเข็มขัดในวันนี้ครับและต่อไปครับเจ้าของเข็มขัดแชมป์53กิโลกรัมนักชก
จากจังหวัดร้อยเอ็ดครับบ้านทองโอปิติศักดิ์เอาละครับวันนี้บ้านทองโอปิติศักดิ์ครับเจ้าของแชมป์ครับถูกท้าชิงโดยสิงสิทธิ์เจปรีมครับและลำดับถัดไปครับขอเรียนเชิญที่ปรึกษาบริษัท Max w o r l d Sport ครับผู้ช่วยศาสตราจารย์ดรเสนออัศวะมันตาวันนี้ดรเสนอนะครับผู้เชี่ยวชาญจารย์ดรเสนอมาพร้อมกับเข็มขัดรุ่น53กิโลกรัมซึ่งตอนนี้เป็นของปานทองอปิติศักดิ์ครับเอาละครับใครจะได้ไปเจ้าของเข็มขัดแชมป์เดี๋ยวไปลุ้นกันครับ alright ladies and gentlemen our main event will be a 53 kilogram champions challenge who will win the champions belt stay tuned to find out this is the hero champions challenge The Hero Champion Challenge. The Hero, the Hero. The Champion Challenge. The Hero Champion Challenge. Champion Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hero Champion Challenge. And now let's start our first fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing. อะไรครับคู่แรกของรายการในวันนี้นะครับมีผู้สนับสนุนรายการนั่นก็คือเมล็ดแตงโมตรามือมันจนหยุดไม่ได้ All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing k r a b i Province, 18 years of age and training at Top p r a y a g y m Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for p e t s i l a Top. A Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. Let's hear it for Petsila, top p r i o r i t And his opponent, a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing b u r i r a m Province, 19 years of age and training at s a w s a k j a r e n Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for. เอกพายรินสอสักเจรย์ The hero the hero the champion challenge champion challenge ladies and gentlemen Introducing a Thai warrior fighting on the red corner, Ek p a i r i n s o s a k j a r o n Welcome to the Max Muay Thai Stadium in Pattaya, where we're all set for our regular Saturday afternoon feature, the Hero Champion Challenge. We've got five fights on the card tonight, all Thai versus Thai matches tonight as well, or this afternoon, I should say. Our main event today, the 53 kilo. Hero Champion Challenge title defense. Introducing first of our first fight of the night in the blue corner, Petsila t a p r i a j i m His real name Apin Nan, Jan m u n g t a i 18 years of age from Krabi, Southern Thailand. 165 centimeters tall. He's had 43 fights, 25 wins, two draws, 16 losses. His last two fights are max points win over p e t Pa Chang or s a n i p a n and a points loss to Pu Pan s u a Sien Pha r a n g s i t Trains and fights at the Tapria Gym in c h o m b r i where he's trained by Nam Wai Tapria Gym and managed by o o n g Ting Tapria Gym. His opponent in the red corner, Ek p a i Rin o s o s a k j a r e n His real name Amrin Amarin p u o n g p l o y from Buriram, Northeast Thailand. 19 years of age, 156 centimeters tall. He's had 42 fights, 29 wins, one draw, 12 losses. His last fight here in Max was a points loss to Chart Pichit Sojo Toy Padrill. t 
Trains and flights have a saw, suck Jaron, Jim in body lamb, or he's trained by trained and managed by Jaron Kami. So three three minute rounds potentially for all the fights tonight, though there is the chance in the main event. We could get a fourth round if it's a draw after three rounds, whenever there's a title on the line or any tournament fight. If it's a draw after three rounds, you get a fourth deciding round. Always good for the fans, not so good for the fighters. The last thing they want after a hard fight uh, is a, another round, but... Yes, <coughs> but we enjoy it very much. Oh yes, bring that added dimension, that bit extra bit of excitement sometimes. It's always interesting to see how the fighters deal with that extra round as well, when they, especially if the fighter that thinks they've done enough to, want, to win, and then they've got to try and psychologically lift themselves up the guy that thought he might have lost has got that yeah. extra kick. Extra opportunity to try and get the win. Here we go, round number one. Both fighters here in the orthodox stance. Oh, good high kick. That's a lot. Fast. No uh, telegraph in that kick at all, was there? I'm so amazed by the dexterity of some of these ties lead leg. They can just throw yeah. it up there without even showing it. See him do it again. Very fast, that left kick. So far, Ekredin just having a look. Oh, oh his head rocked back there by the right hand as well from Petzila. He is not wasting any time. Yeah, I think they've told him here that here at Max, you can't waste your time. He's had two fights already, so he'll know the format, but they do like the fighters to come out hard here at Max. Start fighting right from the opening bell. Not allowed to not expected to spend too long warming into the fight. Oh, good jab. Stiff. Fast there, that jab from Pencil up. Egg played inside the edge forward. He took taking a few stinging low kicks as well. Red Lion with a hard shot in one of his own though. That's a great lead, lead leg. Lead leg, great jab as well. Everything off the left, off the front leg, uh, working well for him so far. Very no. sharp, very crisp. When I see guys like that, I, I always wonder if he's naturally left-handed. Yeah, maybe a com converted uh, orthodox fighter. Although it's normally the other way here in Thailand. They like to uh, turn the orthodox fighters into southpaws. Really? Yeah. A lot. I mean, yeah, there's so many southpaws here in Thailand, there can't be that many oh, yeah. left-handed uh, <laughs> people, you know. <laughs> you will get a lot of fighters here in Thailand that, that will uh, get taught from an early age to fight as a southpaw. Fast left kick from Ekpain in that time. Oh, big knees. Bro. Looking a lot more aggressive. Oh, oh just got caught there coming. So I was just about to say he's looking more aggressive, Ekpain in, but came in low there. He's guard down. Oh. Really made the play. Another stinging right hand from Petzila here. He's looking very sharp yeah. and crisp in that opening round. End of round one. The Hero Champion Challenge. Well, here we go, coming into the second round now. Ekpadin saw Sakjalan in the red corner. Petsila Tapria Jim in the blue. Very crisp boxing, solid, sharp, thunderous left kicks as well from Petsila in that opening round. There's a one where with uh, Ekpadin, they're looking to duck out the way there, but almost uh, made the pay bad. He took a hard right just after that kick as well. I'm gonna go out here on a limb and say that uh, Petzola definitely has some boxing. <laughs> you just steady on there. Yeah. You keep your limbs uh, 
Keep control of your limbs, please. It's early, very early in the night's action here. Don't go out on the limb too quick. <laughs> Big right over the top there from Ekpaidin. Oh. Ekpaidin come out on fire now. Over now, it looks like we've got a proper fight on our hands here. Good clinching again from oh, the blue corner. Strong lock, but good recovery there though from the red corner. Definitely come out a different fighter in terms of aggression here. Egg pain, good elbow from him there. He knows he's in a fight now, pets it up. Yeah. Getting pushed back all the time now. Very dumped down that time. Still edging forward all the time there. Jab again there from Ekpaidin now as he pushes forward. Good hard cross back oh from Petzilla now. Really is turning into a real battle now this fight. Went for the take down there, losing his balance. They are really setting the standard for the rest of the fights to come tonight. Oh. Strong knees coming in now from the blue court. Elbow getting there from Petsida. He's not getting any space at all here from uh, Ekpaidin. Really fired up now, the red corner. Totally different fighter from the we saw in the first round. Oh, Ooh. sharp elbow now. Big right hand. And it's Petsida that's struggling a bit. Oh. The big elbow from him there, though. Big, big damaging shots coming from both here. So he's got to watch out, inching backwards like he is. Yeah, so he's looking for that elbow all the time on the back foot, but he's giving Ekpaid in this room here. And also, as you said, it, you can't afford to go back too much here at Max. Goes against everything uh, that Max Muay Thai stands for. You gotta wonder, is he getting gassed a little bit from these shots he's been taking? Oh, maybe Good not. Boxing again there. Ah, oh, oh, right cross there. End of round two. <laughs> I was wanting to carry on there after the bell. The hero champion challenge. Here we go, coming into the second, the third, sorry, third and final round. He's uh, right in source, Sackville in the red, Petsula Tapria Jim in the blue, a tail of two rounds really. Yeah, Akbaran really picked it up in that second round. Got caught again though towards the end of the round there, just started to come through with some hard picks, punches, sorry. Hard punches and uh, just staggered him again a little bit towards the end of the round there, Petsila. Yeah. See who comes out the fresher of the two in this one. <laughs> oh! Petsila was definitely pressing forward. Great kicks by both fighters. Yeah, trading kick after kick here. Wow, what a fight. Big right hand again from Petsila there. But he's come out more determined this round. Big body kick from Ekpaid in there though. Gonna go right to the wire, I think, this one. Kick there from Egg Piding. Oh! Just losing his 
balanceado, chaval. Strong kick again there from Egg Pie Slowed up again now, Petsy Luck. And this will burst at the start of the round. I think the pace getting to him a little bit now. Using that jab again there, a big kick from Egg Pie Firing off for the sweep. It's like coming in low in the clinch there, getting the back of Egg Pile in there that time. Still edging forward, can't get past that jab at the moment. Oh, oh big right. Big rights again now from Petsila. Got Egg Pile in on the back foot again now. Got a minute to go here. Strong knee that time through the middle from Ekpaid in. Oh, feeling the pace at this point, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the pace just watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Big oh. left hook there. Staggering, slowing up. It played in again now. Smart for him to get into that clinch range. Yeah, got that low lock that time. Still fighting it out here hard. As we're almost at the end now. Petzilla pushing forward. There's the bell to end the final round. ครับคุณผู้ชมครับสัตว์กันขนาดนี้เป็นลุ้นระหว่างพิเศษก่อนกับด้วยฮีโร่ไพรส์ครับสนุนโดยปุ๋ยโฟร์แมนราคาเพื
Our all the blue corner is representing War Aranya Gym. Let's hear it for Option War Aranya. And his opponent, a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing Kiet Chambun Gym in Riot. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Satan Dan Kiet Chambun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting all of the red corner. Let's hear it for Satan Dan, Giyot Chambu. So moving on to fight number two now in the blue corner. Option War Aranya, his real name, what a wood. On Da, 15 years of age from Sakyao to the east of Pattaya, 158 centimeters tall. He's had 62 fights, 39 wins, two draws, and 21 losses. He's trained and fights at a war at a gym or in Chachin Tower, where he's trained by, trained and managed by Robert Borchurkia. What a name! And man also managed by Nang Aranya. His opponent in the red corner, Satang Dang Kiet Jombun, his real name Super Kit, Kamon Wibun, 15 years of age from Roy Et, Northeast Island. He's 160 centimeters tall, had 50 fights, 37 wins, one draw, and 12 losses. Trains and fights at a Kiet Jombun gym in Roy Et, where he's trained by Jombun Kiet Jombun and managed by So Oboto Winai. Anumata, Anumat. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> You've got an incredibly stupid grin on your face now, so I'm a bit worried here. But... <sighs> oh, I got an option for you. Oh, that was my joke. <laughs> Don't ever come on here and steal my <laughs> oh, jokes. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> it doesn't happen too frequently, so just let me have this one. <laughs> Anyway, both fighters having the Moncom removed now. Their action about to get under the way very, very shortly. Two young fighters here starting out on their max career. Satang Dang in the red. Slightly taller than option. Southpaw as well. That's going to make things interesting for option. What options have you got to, <laughs> <laughs> to, to approach this fight now? Oh dear, it's going to be one of those oh, nights. Just apologise, anyone listening in advance, this fight could be a little bit messy in terms of uh, bad jokes. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Sharp inside low kick there from Satang Dang. Ooh. Elbow from him as well, option trying to get the elbow in as well. Absolutely throwing those punches. Yeah. He's going to convert to Southpaw briefly there. That's always another option he could use. <laughs> well, you're on fire today. I'm going to give it to you. I oh, know. I'm always on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Pushing the head back there in the clinch now, Satang Dang. Again, it's the same thing with that inside low kick. Really knocking the balance off of Who and he fouled it with a good straight left. Yeah, hard oh, punches coming in today. Option going for the big shots now as well. Whoa. Close elbow. Both firing in the leather now here. Oh. Big right hand there. Left hand, sorry, the southpaw, Satang Dang. He's really going through that same combination, that inside low kick followed by that straight left. Seems to be working for Satang Dang thus far. Big right hand again there from Option. Oh. Go 
Umshield getting punched oh. out there from Satang Dang. And a hard right from Option there. Buckling the legs. Satang Dang open up with those hard punches there. He really had no option other than to go for it himself. <laughs> Oh, I got a feeling this is going to be going on for the remainder of this fight. Please huh? knock him out quick. <laughs> <laughs> Big rights coming in from option again here. Really going for it here. Trying to finish it here in the opening round. And your kiss of death might work in favor of option here. Yeah, that's always an option. <laughs> oh, this is good. He is really swinging for the fences. So Dang Dang coming in with some hard shots as well, though. So far, you'd have to say option is showing the better chin of the two. Yeah. No fear in that, and I just really swinging those punches. Yeah. Really open himself up. Bang, bang, a bit more hesitant, I think, now after those shots that put him down earlier. End of round one. The Hero Champion Challenge. Here we go, coming into the second round now. Option war, Aaron Yard there, <coughs> using up all his options in that opening round to. Send his opponent <laughs> down to the canvas briefly. Satang Dang, get John Bung in the blue corner. Here we go, round number two. Both really letting the hands go in that round. Some strong firepower from both, but just looked like option just had the better chin of the two. Ooh, big kick to Tang Dan. Going for it now, Satang Dang. Really trying to get that left hand in again. He's got that height advantage, Satang Dang. He's not been able to really put it to good use yet, but the left kick's coming in from him now. Hard. Option getting picked up a bit now. Yeah. Strong round for the red corner so far. I'm surprised that Tang Dan isn't trying to, or having better success in the clinch being so tall. Oh. in for both now strong work from red corner again here really come to life this round big kicks powered in again here so dang dang really going for it there with those kicks on the outside yeah you gotta wonder how much steam they're taking out of option because they are landing flush they've, they've narrowed his options down a bit i think <laughs> i wonder if we're gonna run out of options here <laughs> never All depends on whether I'll take that easy option or the hard option. Oh, I knew that was coming. Eh? <laughs> Body shots here from option now. Arshin really is taking some big left kicks from some hang down. Yeah, it really worked well from that left kick this round. Option really slowed up here. Ah, oh, kicks coming in again. Unable to get through the punches as well. Strong lock in the clinch as well there from Sepang Dang. Option slow right up now. Big kick going in again there. Open mouth there. Those kicks are taking their toll big time. Moving him across and you see him dropping the arm down there. And those kicks are landing there. Obviously, it'd be a lot better option to lift the leg up and block, but when you're in a southpaw stance, it's sometimes, or, or you've got a southpaw throwing them at you, it's that much harder to block going into the back leg. Oh! Big oh! Knee big there. knee! It looked a little bit like it could be in a low one there to me. Or lowish. Looks absolutely spent in the yeah. option. No, there, the referee calling it off in the second round. Those barrage of big wow. kicks there. Referee, no option there but to call the fight off. I should have seen that coming. <laughs>
Oh dear, thank God that fight's over. For everyone else's sake, not mine. Enjoy myself far too much for their own good now. <laughs> Oh, we see the big kicks right there. Yeah, they were shifting him across the ring. You see him dropping that right arm down there as well. No, it looked from, where, from the angle we were in, it might have been a bit low there, but no, oh. definitely right in the center of the solar plexus there. You have no option when it lands there. You're welcome. I'll be here all night, folks. <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> The Hero Prize! No prize! Boy Foreman! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! By way of technical knockout red corner! Satandang, Giet Jong-Bung. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after a short break. This is the Hero Champions Challenge. The Hero, the Hero. Champion Challenge! Champion Challenge! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hero Champions Challenge! Good job, welcome to the Hero Champions Challenge! I'm going to look at the boy who is the Sam Kong, like that. He came out of the house in Silo Tram. Let me go to the house. I'm going to let him go to the house. I'm going to let him go to the house. All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing War at Ranja Gym in Chachung Sao. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Jack Siam War at Ranja. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner, Jack Siam Wo Aranya, and his opponent, a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner, he representing No Primary Gym in Prachop Kiri Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for A Kiam Pandu, John Pandit No. Run, but The hero, the hero, the champion challenge. Champion challenge. Let us all, gentlemen, introduce. A Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He represented Pra Chua Kiri Khan. Let's hear it for John Padet No Pra Mori. So moving on to fight number three now. In the blue corner, Jack Siam Wo Aranya. His real name, Naraton Si Mung from Chatun Tao, just to the west of ba uh, Pattaya on the way back to Bangkok. 17 years of age, 168 centimeters tall. He's had 54 fights, 37 wins, two draws, 15 losses. His last three fights at max, a points loss to Bungert Pet Asida, points loss to Rung Tsang Chai Chor Ratanachai, and a points loss to Pep Ban Yat Kiddi Jim. Trains and fights at the War Aranya Gym in Chachen Tsao, where he's trained by Chanakon Si Muang, and managed by Wichai Si Muang. His opponent in the red corner, John Padet Nu Prambri. His real name, Witsanu Pimma, from Prajup Kirikan, just to the south of Thailand. 23 years of age, 160 centimeters tall. He's had 56 fights, 38 wins, 4 draws, 14 losses. His last four fights at max, a second round KO win over Padawet from Myanmar. Draw against Nung Tep, Pumpamuang, 
first round KO win over Sanklai Sitje Kao and a points win over Kunpen Kru Od Mung Pontong from Laos. Trains some fights at a Nuuk Primary Gym in Prajurup Kirikan where he's trained by Samingdam Tisukato and managed by Nuuk Primary. Samingdam. <coughs> okay. It's different. Uh, the other summing down is uh, 70 kilo, something you know, kilos, isn't it? These oh, guys yeah. are 54, so slight difference in weight. Yeah, big, big difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big right kick there from the blue corner. Come out looking explosive. Uh, John Bonetto, very explosive fighter himself. Hard right to the body, a wild left hook from the red corner. Jackson really chambering up to those right kicks. Strong low kick again from Jackson. Boca, explosive styles by the way. We've seen John Bennett fight quite a lot here at Max. He's very explosive with his shots. Forward here all the time, John Burnett. Big left hook there from Jack Sian. Ooh, answered back. Don't forget. <laughs> answered back with a hard shot, left hook of his own, and a solid, solid right to the body there. Again, that left hook going in, dangerous. Oh, just overreached that time. Jack Sam looking to make him play with a hard straight right counter shot. Ooh, big knee. Jack Sam. Pushing forward, good kicks here from Jack Sam. John Burnett determined to get that left hook in. Hard right kick to the body. Just needs to watch he doesn't overreach with it though. It's, uh, Jack Sam ready to counter every time there. Jumping it does land with one of those hooks. Oh, could be bad news. Oh, yes. Going closer again there with it. 50 seconds remaining. Just getting tied up in the clinch that time. Sharp right kick again there from Jack Sam. Caught with a stinging low kick though. Oh, beautiful oh, elbow! Big elbow! <laughs> beautiful. Over the guard, straight through as well there. Surprisingly, no blood is drawn yeah. there. As I said, he's been overreaching with shots a little bit. Uh, and almost made the play twice already since the knockdown. Yeah, and again, he it again. Overreach. He's overreaching, and uh, Jack Sam is there, ready to counter. End oh. of round one. Saved by the bell. Whoa. The Hero Champion Challenge. Here we go into the second round now. Explosive opening round. John Burnett, New Pranbury in the red corner. Jack Sam, War Arunya in the blue. Jack Siam uh, coming in with a beautiful elbow towards the end of that round to score that right. knockdown. Straight over the guard. Dombadet didn't really learn his lesson either. He kept coming in after that with yeah. some wild hooks and punches. Opening himself up again for elbow counters. And again, he's just coming out again, swinging recklessly. I mean, if he lands it, it's a danger, but yeah. you see what happens when he does it. If he doesn't, then there's every chance he's putting, where he's putting himself in a lot of danger himself. Yeah. The kicks now from Jack Sam. Another hard left elbow from him. Again with a nice elbow. Again. Oh. <laughs> he's not learning any, learning any lessons here, is he? Uh, Oh, jumping it. Hard body kicks as well. You got Armari Sanasi though, getting through some hard punches to the body as well here. You can tell he must truly believe in that left hook of his. Yeah. 
he is willing to risk everything to land it. Doesn't believe in it enough though to get the knockout. Big kicks again here from Jack Sam. Another shot, left elbow going in there. Walking on to elbow after elbow here. Again. Despondent now, though. Going back a lot. Jack Sam, that could go against him. He's not careful. They don't like the fighters to go back too much here at Max. Again, wow. the wild swing. He's going to get a warning here, though, Jack Sam. And this could undo all the. the could possibly undo that knockdown he had. Body kicks. Jump at it now. I think take down that time from Jack Sam. Time that beautifully. Yeah, I think what? Frustration is starting to take over with John Pidet. Yeah. Frustration and it's just also a little bit of confidence gone as well, I think. Again, he's again two hard elbows there. If he survives this round, his corner is going to have to warn him about throwing some wild shots and being so reckless. To the clinch now. Good knees there from Jack Siak. From uh, one for that side. Jump for that. Again, that left elbow. Big right one that time as well. Beautiful timing and uh, technique with his elbows. Jack Sam. End of round two. The Hero Champion Challenge. <laughs> we go into the third and final round now again John Burnett walking on the hard elbows in that round so a lot more aggression though got a warning for going back to a bit too much uh, Jack Siam here we go third and final round good strong kick there from John Burnett at the start of the round yeah Starting to stand his ground a bit more now, maybe Jack Tiam. Good turns from him in the clinch there. That could benefit uh, John Pudet. That way he doesn't have to worry about missing with that left hook and standing yeah. his ground. Good knees now from Jack Tiam. Okay, for the left elbow. Feeling the pace now. Again, a sharp elbow. All the time edging closer. Jump of that big oh. elbow again there though. right to the body that time oh With another vicious elbow over the top there though starting to push forward again now on jack Sam. elbow after elbow man jack Sam. bending over jumping it looking tired here open mouth a little bit they do tend to fade a bit the new cranberry fighters in the later rounds oh, oh wow Another vicious elbow, missed again with a wild shot there. You caught it off, and uh, it was only a matter of time. Heavy, heavy elbow back from Jackson. That pure, sure, surely that's put the fight out of uh, the reach of uh, Luke, of uh, John Burnett here, unless he gets a knockout himself. Hard oh, elbows hammered down wow. again here from Jackson. John Burnett slowed right up here. Oh. 
these two knockdowns still haven't stopped jumping that from swinging wild. <laughs> you gotta give it to him, he's definitely determined. Yeah, he's, he's got some guts, he's got some power, he's determination, but sometimes you need a bit more uh, in terms of defense. Yeah. So we've got 30 seconds left for John Burnett to go for something big here. Again, all the elbow, hard elbows coming from Jack Sam. In total control now. Oh, big elbows again here now from Jack Sam. Oh, another one hurting bad there, on, right on the bell though, wow. Ray's referee was going to jump in and give a mercy stop. Right on the bell. Oh, and a lot of pain here. I think it might be broken. Clinical display of elbows from uh, Jack Siam there. It really shows what a dangerous weapon they are in, uh, right, in the right hands. Oh, okay. Champion Challenge. 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 For red corner, blue corner, no prize. Oi, four man. Man, join the moon man. I'm going to go to Simon Sada. Rowan Hilo, by Ho Pon Pon. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner, blue corner, Jack Siam Wo Aranja. The hero, the hero. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hero Champion Challenge. And now let's move on to our core main event, 65 kilogram wear division. Good morning, welcome back to the show. Can I talk to you about the Hero Champion Challenge? Now we're going to talk about the Hero Champion Challenge. Now we're going to talk about the Hero Champion Challenge. Now we're going to talk about the Hero Champion Challenge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing Sing Ban Don Jim in Sukhothai. Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Sai Chun Sing Ban Don. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Taiwan of fighting out of the blue corner. He representing Sukhothai Thai Province. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Sai Chun Sing Man Dong. And he's supporting a Taiwan of fighting out of the red corner. He representing Nakhon Sawan Province. He's training at Thai Sansu Gym in Chonburi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hei Pabut Pak Nampo, Luk Rak Pui Fonga. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing Thai Sansuk Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Luke Rock 
fui Boba! So moving on to fight number four, our pre-main event now. In the blue corner, Saichon Singbandon. His real name, Saichon Nguyen Prang from Sukhothai, Northern Thailand, 20 years of age, 170 centimeters tall. He's had 68 fights, 47 wins, four draws, 17 losses. His last two fights here at max, a points loss to Pet Pratai Sanit Muay Thai in a fight for the global fight belt, and a points win over Liu Chunbil from China. Trains and fights at the Singbandon Gym in Sukhothai, where he's trained by Naiton Nguyen Prang, who is also his manager. His opponent in the red corner, Lukrak Pui Foreman. His real name, Yongyot Torpon, from Nakhon Sawan, Northern Thailand. 21 years of age, 172 centimeters tall. He's had 63 fights, 47 wins, 16 losses. His last five fights here at Max. A fourth round points win of a Mon Picard back ball win followed by a points loss in the final against Saksit Sittongpon in a champion four-man tournament. A points win of a Rafael Renibang from France. A points loss to Brian Matisse from Cape Ivory, Cape Verde, sorry, and a points loss to Saksit Sitong Pon. Trains and fights out of Sai Sang's Kai Sansuk Jim, sorry, here in Pattaya, where he's trained by Chan Rit Sit Or and managed by Nick and Non Ban Pong and Noi Ban Pong. Trivia for you. Do you know what Cape Verde is? It's, um, it's somewhere in the ocean, a bit by the ocean. That's a good one. <laughs> That's an island off of Africa, I believe. Oh, you're right. I think you're right. Wow. You're a lot smarter than you look. I'm very smart. The walks <laughs> are very good looking. So my mum said, always used to tell me anyway. <laughs> Southpaw versus Orthodox. Side John in the Southpaw chuck and stunt. Solid kick there from Luke Rack. Chon very aggressive so far. Walking onto that well-timed right kick goal from Lukrak. Yeah, Lukrak has very good right kick. Still, as you call it, sharp right kick again there from Lukrak. Not quite found his rhythm or his timing yet, Side John. Yeah, I think he's a little off settled with that right kick from Luke Rapp. Good. good aggressive start from him so far, though. Good knees from both in the clinch now. Again, that right kick, Luke Rapp there. Oh. Sharp knee that time as well. Very nice. Side John in the blue corner, over the top. Not really bothered uh, Luke Rack out with anything yet. Luke Rack working well with that right kick again here. Luke Rack pushing the face away in the clinch. Come well so far, Luke Rack controlled the ring, controlled the pace as well. Oh, big elbow from Side John. In the clinch there as well. Into the clinch again. More strong knees there from Saichon in the clinch. End of round one. Here we 
Miguel coming into the second round, our pre-main event. Engaging opening round. Sharp kicks from both there. It's for me, uh, Lukrak looking the sharp of the two slightly in that opening round. Yeah, absolutely. See if Saijan warms it up now, comes out hard in the second round here. You saw him land a couple elbows later yeah. on in the first round. Kicks from in here. Big right there from. Sorry, left again there from Side John. I keep getting the south ball mixed up into the clinch. Good lock from Luke Rack there. Very nice knee from Luke Rack. Sharp right kick again. In. He looks a little bit open defensively, uh, Side John. Good knees from Luke Rack. on again, but just not quite quick enough to get shots off. Luke Rack hammering the knees in now. Uh, Saichon just can't seem to find any sustained uh, uh, attack here. He'll yeah. throw one thing and then he'll kind of get all settled again. A little bit wild as he comes in as well. Luke Rack, great eyesight, can read what he's uh, coming in with here well. And then there's sharp right kicks throughout as well. the clinch. Neither really getting the upper hand in the clinch. Good knee again for the crack. Really good at controlling that arm and then getting to that lock of doom sort of position. Yeah. Just when he's in that position though, just not quite quick enough for off with the knees. Again, beautiful timing again from Luke Rack there. Strong knee now in the clinch. Two hard knees there. Oh, big knees. Slow right up here, side shot. Obviously, Luke Rack really going for it a bit here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Looking a bit gassed up here on the back foot. Oh, another powerful stabbing knee there from Luke Rack. Uh, Side John just can't seem to find any that one weapon to get through and really yeah. turn the tide for him. Big elbow there from Luke Rack. Sidetron trying to get the elbow through, but it's just defensively, uh, Luke Rack very, very tight. Doesn't leave many options open for attack. End of round two. Here we go, coming into the third and final round now. Look back, boy, four man, good third round, second round there, sorry. Strong knee, work from him with his uh, kicks and knees in the clinch as well. Saichon Singh Bandon just slowing up a bit in that round. Looks a little bit gas towards the end of the round as well. Third and final round. You know, let's say John get something going here. Look Rack's gonna have a pretty easy path to victory. He's come out looking determined here at the start of this round. Well, we see that many times uh, as an initial burst for 30 seconds or so. Oh, another good knee from Look Rack. Good 
Oh, knees again, pushing that head back of uh, side John there. Side John pushing forward, but again, he's just, just unable to find the target oh, here. Good right, left hand there from him though. But that's what I mean, he only seems to be able to get one shot off yeah. at a time. Uh, at this point, you got to imagine, he's got to go for broke and just start uh, uh, swinging everything. Yes, assume he's, he's down on the scorecard. That's right. Yeah, it's good knees coming in. Turning him around there in the clinch. Big elbow from side chomp, but locked up again in the clinch. Just needs to get yeah. those knees up a bit quicker. Pushing the face back there. Big, powerful knee there from Luke Rack. That would have caught the judge's eyes for sure. Oh, we're balancing inside John there. The body language of Sai John just kind of looks a little defeated now at this point. Jumping in with the knee there, looking tired here. Trying to push forward, good elbow there from Sai John, but again getting locked up. Big, Big strong knee again there from Luke Rack. Forty seconds remaining. You got to imagine Sai John has got to do something big. Yeah, he went for the big punch there, but again, not finding the target. Not easy to catch, uh, Luke Rack. No, great defensive skills. Big right kick from him again there. Nice elbow through the guard. Again, strong knees here from Luke Rack. Side John run out of time here. It's 15 under. 10 seconds to go now. Good back. Getting a better of that exchange yet again. Yeah. Coming up after this, we have our 53 kilogram hero champion challenge fight. There's the belt in the final round. Pace, good control with a ring throughout from uh, Luke Rack in the red. As we await our bonus round and judges' decision now, coming up very shortly, and then after that, the main event. I like up the I'm going to the hero prize. ปุ๋ยโฟแมนราคาเพื่อคนไทยคุณภาพเต็มแม็กซ์ฮีโร่ฟอร์บลูแอนด์เรดคอร์เนอร์ปุ๋ยโฟแมนเอาล่ะครับ
be training at Sid J. Brim Gym in Kanchanaburi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Pechakad Nayok Singh Sid J. Brim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai challenger. He representing Upon Rajatani, Singh Sitjeprim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, our champion. He representing Roy and Poets. He's ready at Sit Sun Prom Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for John Te Mueang Kern Roy. Ban Chong, oh, be the sun. The hero, the hero, the champion, the hero, champion challenge. Let it on, gentlemen. Introducing a champion representing Riot Owens. Let's hear it for Bon Tong. Oh, big, big suck. So moving on now to our main event here, a challenge for the 53 kilogram hero champion challenge belt. The champion in the red corner, challenger in the blue corner, introducing first Singh Sit J Prim, his real name. Kiedipon Pangbukdi from Ubon Ratatani, Northeast Thailand. 23 years of age, 162 centimeters tall. He's had 93 fights, 71 wins, 6 draws, 16 losses. His last three fights here at Max, a second round KO win of a Song Kong Sing Nawawut. A first round KO loss, Kadinichai Sit Sarawat Sua. And a draw against Petdam Petnopakao. Trains and fights at a Sit J Prim Gym in Kanchanaburi, where he's trained by Prukoi Koklan Bud and managed by J Prim. His opponent in the red corner, the champion, defending champion, Pantong or Pirisak. His real name, Natapon Siratanapan from. Roy Ett, Northeast Thailand, 17 years of age, 162 centimeters tall, at 58 fights, 41 wins, 4 draws, 13 losses. His last three fights are max, a points win over Song Kong Sing Nawa Wood, a points win over Yo Neda from Japan, and a points lost to Rung Wutia Sing Nawa Wood. Trains and fights at a Sit Sang Prap gym in Roy Ett, where he's trained by Sang Prap, Sit Dung Rod, and managed by Pasat Panpai and Utai Si Ratanapan. Three minutes, three rounds to decide, are we gonna see a champion here tonight? Change hands or stay with the red corner or unless, if we get a draw, we'll have an extra round. And that's to be a winner. Had some trouble a little bit in a few of his fights in the past, Bang Tong, where he'd uh, get caught later in the fight and he was sick. Oh yeah? Yeah, he seems to have uh, got under control now. Had a couple of fights where it happened with him. Could well be just bad timing uh, from when he'd eaten before he'd uh, come into the ring. The opponent tonight, Sing, it's very crafty. Yeah, Southpaw as well, Sing. Sharp low kick there from Panto. Good left hand. And a slip Southpaw can always be very difficult to deal with. Oh, yes. Good evasion, is there? She's got Pantong on the back foot so far. Good hard right hand there from Pantong. Seeing hammering the elbows in though. Oh, 
kick there from Anton Block. Well old by Sing. So very slick here. Great timing, great skill so far from Sing. Positioning from Sing there. Glove in the face. Pushing back the head of uh, Pantong there. Explosive kick from Pantong that time. Still edging forward all the time here, Sing. Pantong with a sharp body kick that time. Now Anton with a strong lock, the lock of doom. Yeah, so difficult to deal with, especially when you get need on top of it. That's right. Still edging forward all the time, they sing. Ah, oh, straight shot to the body there from Singh that time. It's a round one. The Hero Champion Challenge! So Pantong or Pelisak there in the red corner. The defending champion, 53 kilo Hero Champion Challenge belt on the line. The opponent in the blue corner, Singh Sit J Prim. Sharp control of the ring from Singh. Beautiful technique from him as well. Here we go, round number two. Singh again pushing forward. Oh, the work the body, the he switched. Up. Switched into orthodox as well, as you said. I think he's trying to confuse us again, Rob. So, uh, I saw his component. <laughs> component? His opponent. He's confused me already. I can't even smell. <laughs> Can't even string a sentence together now. Yeah, no, um, come straight out as an orthodox fighter this round. In that Mexican style, left hook to the liver. And you gotta wonder if that's why he, he chose to do it. Maybe he saw the uh, opening for that shot. Yeah. Working hard in the clinch now, though. I remember you, before you telling me that you knew some fighters that would actually do that. Fight one round southpaw and then come yeah, out the yeah. next round orthodox. Some fighters are good at it, you know, and, it, and, it, and it, for them it can really change the course of the fight. Some fighters kind of do it for the sake of it, I think, sometimes, and they end up yeah. confusing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good body shot. Strong knees coming in from both here. Good lock here from... Wow, that Singh. is a lock of doom. <laughs> His head buried in the chest of uh, Pantong there. I, I, I like seeing his, his uh, orthodox fighter here. Yeah. Working very well there in the clinch, pushing the head of Pantong into a dangerous position there. And oh, trying to get the elbow in there. Oh, beautiful elbow. elbow from Singh though. There's a cut, there's a cut on Singh. It's above the left eye there, doesn't look too serious. The cuts the cut though, could change the dimensions. Big hard shots to the body again from Singh here. I really like this shot, there's liver shot the Singh is throwing. Sinking him in. Yeah. I think he knows of uh, Pantong's reputation for being sick during fights. <laughs> oh, Pantong's really actually trying to block that with his forearm the last one. Getting that head bent right over there, Pantong in the clinch. Singh is a man on a mission here. Yeah. It may be cut, but he's had no effect on him whatsoever. Ooh, great turn there. Almost catching the knee on the way down, too. That blood is really pulling out, but it doesn't seem to... Oh! Now that's Another not going to help. Another shot elbow again there from Pantong. 
Good fight and boxing well off the back foot here, but another big left to the body. Trying to punch his way out of trouble here. So far, the referee's not paying it much mind. End of round two. Oh. Champion challenge. The hero champion challenge. Coming into this third round, let's see what option Singh chooses. Southpaw. Yeah. Or, or I think he's just do what he's won at this point. He's just been, <laughs> he was in control in that round there. Solid left hook to the body. Did work well for him though. As you said, that switch to orthodox. He did well in the first round, but switch to orthodox. Uh, he, uh, he looks very, very sharp there. Panton managed to get the cut with the elbow, but. Say Singh looking sharp there. One more round to go here. Three minutes to go. Big round from Singh here. Could see him taking the title away from Pantong. They really put a glob of Vaseline on that cut. Yeah. Here we go. Third and final round. Oh, right out with the body shot, Singh. Pushing forward again. Sharp push kicks to get in close there. Good kicks from him again here. Not taking a backward step yet. Sing. Oh. Good elbow from him now. Ah, oh, right to the body that time. And on again, then falls back here. Corner of Pantong getting very, very frustrated with him here. Screaming at him to let his kicks go. Now he's in danger of losing this title if he doesn't start to do something. In with a knee to the side, Pantong. Rising elbow that time. To the clinch again, and uh, Singh. So not troubled at all. Still marching forward here. Good the elbow for Singh. Coming in behind that jab. Elbow there from Panton, another oh. good hard one there. But again, it's not slowed up. Sting one little bit. No. Marching forward again, the left hook to the body. Hard oh. oh, knee from him here. Oh, and that cut is really, really opening up now. He might even have picked another cut up there. Oh. Yeah, it looks to be right above the eyebrow, too. If I'm not. Let's check it out. He's got one under the eye and on the eye. Oh. Three cuts there. The referee's had no problem at all. And he's smiling, ready to go. Very effective use of the elbow span on in this round, but I don't think myself that's going to be enough for him to hold on to the belt. 30 seconds to go. Letting the hands go now. Singh starting to push forward again now. Good body kick from him. Edge towards the climax of the fight. Unless, of course, we get a draw. I can't really see a draw with the, the kind of work Singh can put in, in yeah. this fight. There's a bell to end the final round. Out very much. We will see a draw. I think we're going to find a clear winner here, but there we go. The judges is in after our bonus round.
เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับก่อนจะไปลุ้นแชมป์เราไปลุ้นรวมพิเศษกันก่อนกับ The Hero Prize สนับสนุนโดยอุ้ยโฟร์แมนราคาเพื่อคนไทยคุณภาพเต็มแม็กซ์ Hero for Blue and Red Corner อุ้ยโฟร์แมนนักชอทั้งคู่ได้ไปคนละ9เสียบงสาได้รางวัลไปคนละ 5,000 บาท All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Blue corner, Sing Sit Jablin. ทุกผู้ชมครับผู้ท้าชิงของเราครับสิงสิเจปิมเอาชนะแชมเปี้ยนของเราไปได้ทําให้เป็นแชมเปี้ยนคนใหม่ในโอกาสนี้ขอเรียนเชิญครับผู้ช่วยศาสตราจารย์ดรเสนออัศวะมันต่อขึ้นมาคาดจำกัดให้กับแชมเปี้ยนคนใหม่ครับสุดยอดจริงๆกระชากเข็มขัดไปจากแชมป์ของเราได้ครับและนี่ก็คือบานทองออปีติศักดิ์อ่อ่ะผิดผิดออสิงสิทธิ์เจ็บริมต้องขออภัยนะครับผิดคนอ่านชื่อผิดไปนิดนึงขอ